Yo, look what we got here. G.I. Joe Classified Cobra Dreadnought Buzzer. Got this from Big Bad Toy Store. They have him in stock. I ordered this guy three days ago. Got the shipping notification one day later, and two days after that, he was at my doorstep. Not bad. They do have a warehouse about an hour away from me, so. But I think this came from somewhere in Illinois, like Melrose, Illinois. Anyways, we're going to check out the box here. Mostly uh, the artwork and the glamour shot. Everything else is the same. Barcode, blah, blah, blah. The front there, though, pretty cool looking shot there. Is he at a gas station? I guess he's at a gas station. It's a Cobra gas station, unless they're like selling something there. And there's like a jam session room on the inside with a big old radiator, drum kit, guitar. We got the grape soda on the amp. And uh, here we got Buzzer waving his chainsaw around. Pretty wicked. I like the, the way this chainsaw looks. Makes the chainsaw Charlie chainsaw look like child's play. That thing didn't even have like blades. It was just like this whole thing was just black and that was it. Not much to it. So Hasbro's being a little riskier than Mattel, I guess. Most of these shots, though, are kind of reminiscent or an ode to something that happened during the 80s uh, animated series. Like, you got the, what was it, torpedo with the giant silkworms and the pyramid behind uh, Tiger Force Flint, which are all parts of... Uh, some G.I. Joe episodes. But this figure, I cannot wait to crack him open. He looks awesome. And we got the artwork here. We got his weaponry, chainsaw. We got a baseball bat with, what, jigsaw? Round blades on the tip or on the end of the bat. Then this whatever this bladed mace damn that's deadly we got a knife little pistol all the fun stuff all the words and on the side we got the same artwork he is number 106 in the series i can't believe this in like what four years we got 106 of these guys plus 106 plus and then we got a nice little, like a file card. Uh, looks like it's computer generated. I don't know if that's really him or if it's like one of those old shots that they had. But he's looking like he's uh, hitting six foot two. He's almost as tall as me. And we got his weapons there again. We got a couple little shots, close ups. crap and then we got the little scan code thing I never do it I just look them up on wiki so yeah pretty wicked I'm super excited for this guy all right let's crack them open This little foot locker. Got him. Yeah. That's a face only a blind mother could love, huh? Oh. weapons out here. Oh, there's his class.
glasses. I was like, oh, what's this little crapper? Oh, damn, dude. Look at that. I mean, I can fix that pretty easily, but come on now. That's some soft plastic. God damn, man. Well, you're going to hear me bitching and complaining a lot, apparently, because uh, I just got, I, I'm starting to work on my uh, Black Knight Cersei Marvel Legends review, and those figures suck, which is really too bad. I mean, sometimes they hit it out of the park, and sometimes they strike out, like, seriously, like, what the hell is going on here? Look at this thing. All right, well, we'll put that down. Pisses me off, though. And then this. Look at that. that texture we'll have to bring up chainsaw charlie for a comparison though that's for sure these sunglasses are they're almost like goggles This knife. I was kidding. And this little teeny pistol here. See all the wrinkles in my hands. Got the little wrap in the handle. Just like all the gangsters do these days. I have to hit this with some uh, some chrome paint pen. Eh. It's like there's some little like color up here. What's going on here? Am I tripping? Yeah, I don't know. I have to hit it with a paint pen up here. What is this though? Seriously, am I just going blind? All right, well, there you got it. And we'll bust this guy out of the uh, cardboard coffin and we'll take a look. All right, so we got them all out of the packaging. We got the Dreadnoughts Buzzer here, G.I. Joe Classified. Um, so a little bit more about the box here, the box art. Um, after further... I guess, investigation, just kind of mess around on the internet and some from memory. It kind of sparked my memory, but so the band or the, uh, the jam session room or whatever here with the drums, guitar, the amplifier, um, the Dreadnoughts and Zartan, well, the three main Dreadnoughts, uh, which Buzzer, Ripper, and Torch, and hopefully Torch will be announced soon, as well as Zartan posed as a band um, called Cold Slither. So, um, and I looked at the Ripper box too, and he is pretty much in the same position uh, standing in front of the stuff, maybe like a little bit like angled differently. Um, I still don't know what the grape soda is. So that must have been a big part of an episode or maybe that's just something that they liked. Um, anyways, that's that. And then I think this is like a cold slither, like tour poster. 
at the gas station. And, uh, yeah. My eyes suck, so I thought this was a radiator, but it's actually just a fan up on a shelf. And this is another shelf here. So, I don't know. It looked like a radiator to me for some reason. But it's just a wind fan up on a shelf. They're probably getting high. Had to blow all the smoke out the window. They used the fan. Zartan doesn't like that kind of behavior, you know? So, um, anyways, we're going to go through the accessories and the articulation. Pretty nice figure. There are some problems. Um, a lot of the weaponry is on very soft plastic. So if you see here close up with a chainsaw, and hopefully it's just me, you know, and it doesn't bother me that much, but it's a little, it keeps kind of curving this way, like a, like a little arch. Do the arch for me. So I just kind of bend it back up. It usually kind of curves back, but you keep doing this, it'll straighten up. So, and then this is just a freaking mess. It's always bent. It's annoying, but you just kind of, eh. Straightens out for a little bit, and it just kind of goes back to the position that you really don't want it to be in. <laughs> <laughs> so it's ongoing so i'll probably bag and tag this guy he'll be rolling with the chainsaw for the most part this is pretty neat though i like this it's like whatever a swing axe mace thing with a crazy blade on the end so we're gonna take his chainsaw out of his hands here and check out all his movement. We're gonna see, ooh, there's a fly in here. Um, see if his glasses actually stay on. Cause they, I mean, they do stay on his face pretty well. I'm gonna get some more light in here. There we go. But it's kinda, they're, the glasses are kind of uh, supported by his nose. And they just kind of hang up here. So we'll see what happens. It stays on there pretty well. It just seems like it's not that stable. So just little dumb things. Um, we'll take that off for a second. He's got to have the glasses on though. You know, they could have just given us a head that had them uh molded on but they didn't you know just for you know more fun more options so there's his face pretty gruesome but nice swivel here he kind of has that movement because we got a hinge down here at the bottom of the neck as well as the uh, the ball up here at the top of the neck where the head pops onto. Got the ponytail that hinders the, uh, the skyward look, but he can look down really good. And then we got the shoulders with some butterfly. The butterfly is actually, uh, has the shirt molded onto it. So I don't know why they, <laughs> they could have done these little ruffles and rips here and then left the butterfly joint as skin, but they didn't. Um, whatever, it works. Twists around, you got the bicep, upper arm cut, double jointed at the elbow, pinless. 
And then on his right arm, we got the pivot going up and down. I think it's the same thing over here. Um, let's see if this watch is removable. Oh, the hand doesn't want to come off. I'm assuming it is. Here, I'm going to uh, pop that puppy off. And yes, the watch does come off, and I'm assuming so does this. Get back on there. Come on. Probably could have... Used a blow dryer on this guy, but I didn't. Oh, man, come on. There we go. All right. We got a, looks like a smoke grenade and a regular fragmentation grenade right here tied on to the strap that wraps around his shirt. We got some dog tags and looks like a sheriff's, sheriff's badge. So he's a collector badges and tags probably from his prey so he's he's killed what looks to be three soldiers maybe there are some joes and a sheriff he's got the tattoo snake with a dagger no hair on the upper really but on the forearms, it's got a little shading there. And I like that. That's pretty cool. Stomach crunch. And wow. Pretty nice. And we got waist swivel. We got the drop downs here. leg movement is a little bit better he can it's a little more flexible although uh these uh pads here as well as his holsters kind of get in the way Let's see got the gun there so if you want to take the gun out maybe he can do the splits but why would he be doing that he's not rob van dam is he um, then we got, I believe, well, okay, so this twists around the whole way. But when I look under here, there's a cut there. So, I'm trying to grab onto this, but this keeps twisting. These twist all the way around, which is pretty cool. But I'm trying to figure out... And sorry, I'm trying to do this in my video, but I'm trying to see if there is an actual cut down there. Like a thigh cut so you can swivel right here because that's most of them are like that. So I don't really know. Crazy. Um, we'll figure that out. Maybe I'll throw it in the comments. We got the double pin, double jointed knee. Pretty good there. And then, of course, the feet with the hinge. Swivel. So, yeah. Not a bad figure. Just not perfect. Um, I don't know. I always look for things. Sometimes you get a figure like, say... That X-Men 97 Wolverine, which I actually have up here displayed. And so now my expectations are a little high. I mean, this guy is phenomenal. I don't know if it's figure of the year, but he's up there for me personally. I love this figure. And I know there's a lot of people saying the same thing, saying how great it is. So, yeah, we'll get them out of view. 
Um, so, I mean, nice figure, good looking figure. We'll get the glasses back on here. I'll kind of show you. Um, you know, glasses are a weird thing. It, they kind of piss me off sometimes. Uh, sometimes they have the little slats in here and you can just kind of pop them on their nose and that supports the glasses and then the uh, stems will slide into a little slat in here that's like kind of underneath their hair or something. Or there's a nice groove over the ear and they fit just great. That's not the case here. It's, uh, it doesn't really rest on there. So it's kind of all balancing on the nose here and just balance itself. Um, get this guy down a little more. See, now he's all like, mm. <sighs> nerd with your glasses. I wear glasses, so I'm a nerd too. Um, just, yeah, not perfect with the, uh, the saw blade keeps curling up. Very soft plastic. Um, we're gonna compare it to the Chainsaw Charlie by Mattel and see how it measures up against that one, which I think it's gonna be 100% better. Um, this is great, it looks great. It's just that this is a little soft. So you're gonna have to play around with that. And this is kind of rotten. It's kind of rotten, governor. So, yeah, it's just, it's very bendy. But nothing, a little heat won't fix. Um, it's just kind of slim, so it bends right here. It's soft and it's slim. So, yeah. Still really cool looking, if you get it at the right angle. Which looks deadly. And of course, he's got his gun in here. It's got the wrap. Um, who who else has the wrapped guns? I think the f new Tiger Force Flint does, but I believe Ricondo. All his guns are wrapped at the handle, and the dagger slips in there with ease. Very nice, good looking figure for sure. But if I were like my son and played with my figures, I, these glasses would be either safe somewhere or they'd get lost. So yeah, there you have the articulation and accessories look at Buzzer. And then we're going to bring in some other figures. Just do a little comparison, check them out. Comparison time. So we got Buzzer, nice little pose with his bat saw, as well as this, I don't know, swing blade, we'll call it. See how that's bending already? Fooey. So, first we're going to bring in his boss, Mr. Zartan. This is the original Zartan. I do have the, uh, the one that changes color. Still boxed up, haven't busted it out yet. Got this guy with the snake head. We got the monkey paw back there. We got all the faces in here. Pretty cool figure. But boy, I think this guy came out like two years ago. So leader of the Dreadnoughts there, Zartan. Also holding out a knife. Big old. You gonna you gonna disobey orders, boy? No, Zartan, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> so And of course we got Zatanna coming in here. Move these guys over. Whew. 
who is a really good looking figure. I love the hair color. You got swappable hair. Still not really sold on hair popping off and then you get this, Lady J is the same. But dang, it looks good. I think the other one's like more of a mohawk. Um, she had some QC problems as well. This arm just like pops off right here at the biceps cut or swivel. Just kind of pops off. It's no big deal. Just, again, it's soft. So, again, we got this thing that twists all the way around. And then, yeah, this does twist. So I'm assuming this does too. And they got so many straps and so many things that are in the way. It's kind of kooky. Anyway. Dreadnoughts there. So until we get Ripper, this is what we got for Dreadnoughts. And then they announced Nagahide, of course. Torch has got to be coming along soon. Let's straighten that out. Mm So pretty neat. Now we'll bring in Rakondo. Buzzer's a pretty big dude at six foot two. Um, so busted out his gun, no wrap on the handgun, but his rifle's got all kinds of wraps on it. Around the stock, or the, around the barrel. On the handle, you can see it down there. Nice big machete. I really like this figure, the Rakondo. He's awesome. And then, so this is the Tiger Force Rakondo. They got the regular one coming out. Bam. Oh. We're going to have to start it all over again. Oh, God, no. No, we're not. All right, then we're gonna bring in Mattel, WWE Elite, Chainsaw Charlie. And his chainsaw, of course. Let me get this stuff worked out here. So if you wanna check out his chainsaw, Pretty cool. I like the handle and the engine. It looks really cool. It almost looks like a a, a real like chainsaw, like company's chainsaw, like maybe a DeWalt because <laughs> it's got the yellow on it. But the blade is just silly. Like there's nothing there. There's no chain. There's no blades. There's nothing. It's just straight black. So, just to make a little comp comparison there with the blades. This one's m a bit longer. Um, this does not move. Someone was saying that on one of their videos, but. I think it was freaking Viper Island or some shit. So no movement there, just rubber. 
But yeah, there's a little bit of a comparison. <sighs> Get out of here. So there's Chainsaw Charlie with the pantyhose over his head. All that white stuff is not cocaine. It is uh, like sawdust. <laughs> And it's, this was Terry Funk, by the way, who, uh, rest in peace, Terry. Fucking loved him. Grew up watching him. And just as one more comparison, since we're kind of doing wrestlers, I brought in another guy with a ponytail named Rob Van Dam. So these guys are more seven inch scale in comparison to a six inch, uh, like Marvel Legends, G.I. Joe Classified, Star Wars Black Series. These guys are just a tad bit bigger. So they just look like bigger humans. And they are kind of, I mean, that's kind of why they did it, but a little bulkier, a little taller. Um, so Buzzer's ponytail Man, I'm about to get a fly swatter. Just hangs down and is uh, sculpted into his head. Where you get multiple ponytails that pop in and out of the back of his head. There's one that kind of sticks out like he's shooting or jumping at someone. But I prefer the nice laid back ponytail because RVD is pretty laid back. He actually signed with AEW. I think it was AEW. And his wrestling, which is pretty cool. And Edge signed with him too. I just saw him do a pretty good promo. It's funny stuff. So there we have it, guys. Um, hopefully you like this review. Uh, sorry, it's been a few... Jeez, it's been a few days since I've done one of these, and I'm kind of behind. Uh, we got more coming up. We're going to be doing, I think, the West Coast Avengers box set. I got Tripwire the other day. So we're going to be doing that maybe today, maybe tomorrow. Um, we got the Black Knight and Circe Avengers set as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Check me out. Please like, please subscribe, comment. Love chatting with you guys about figures. Hit me up. I hope everything is great for you. Keep collecting those figures. Keep having fun. We'll talk to you later.